Hey everybody, Wildside here again. So earlier this week I had to go and open my big mouth and say that my hot end uh, PTFE had never failed me. And lo and behold today I got a jam in it. So this is a perfect opportunity to show how I make the PTFE rod. Sorry about the lighting but it's uh, near sunset here. So I don't have a whole lot of time. Let me move this over maybe. Excuse the mess. The outdoor workspace. As you can see it's very tidy. Anyway. So we'll try and uh, get a good look at the drill press which is about the fanciest piece of equipment that I use. Um, okay so we're going to take this rod there's a great plastic supply place down in Anaheim, about, uh, I don't know, six miles from here, called Industrial Plastic Supply of Anaheim. And they have this stuff, they have bigger PTFE, and the price is not bad, actually. Um, it's only a few bucks a foot. So, anyway, so I'm going to turn it into this guy with a three and a half millimeter hole, roughly. And all I'm going to use is the drill press and my handy dandy. Um, utility blade. Excuse the sirens, but today's Labor Day, so there's a lot of drunk jackasses out there having accidents and such. Um, Alright, so first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to cut me a length of this stuff. Uh, usually I cut them about 40 millimeters, 45 millimeters if it's going on a, on a tech zone or maybe a Mendel cells, uh, because they need a little bit more clearance underneath. But uh, usually 40 millimeters is enough, so this stuff's soft enough that you can cut it with uh, with the utility knife. And uh, <clears throat> let's just try and do it up here. I swear to God, one of these days I'm going to print a way to hold the camera up, or at least hold up the Android phone. Uh, all right. Alright, so there we go. We've got a roughly 40 millimeter piece of PTFE. And I'm going to chuck this guy up there inside the drill press. We're using the drill press kind of like a lathe. Um, you sort of want to use it on the higher speed settings if it has variable speeds. Uh, hand tight on the, on the chuck is probably going to be good enough. First thing we're going to do is uh, trim off the excess, make sure it's square. We'll do that with the utility knife. Just like that, so we've taken off a little, little disc of material. Not quite flat. Let me try that again. I forgot I forgot to put on my safety glasses don't do this stuff without safety glasses I can't tell you how many nails and rocks and stuff have uh, only been thwarted by my rapidly blinking eyelids definitely need to have a good pair of these and definitely need to wear them don't do like wild side put them on before you start all right, <clears throat> so the other side, I'm going to flatten it as well. Okay, so that's going from a half inch to roughly eight millimeters, which is what the 
smaller inside diameter of that uh, brass coupling that I use this. And again, we're just going to use this thing as a lathe. Actually, I'm going to grab a loose blade that I have. It's easier to, to get in there. And basically, I'm just going to let this thing rough it out for me. smooth it out with the blade. I still need to do a little bit of work here. Go. Let's see. A uh, little bit more. A little bit more. Just a tiny bit. for horseshoes. Um, so then the only thing left to do is to drill the uh, three and a half millimeter hole up the center and uh, I've misplaced my three and a half millimeter drill bit so let's just look at these blindly. I think it's this one. It is all right, in this next part, I'm going to need my handy dandy pliers, which I left inside. Drilling into rod, especially if you're trying to drill right in the center, is incredibly tough to do. But if you can get your rod into the drill press, it becomes a whole lot easier because it essentially becomes a self-centering fixture and then you can just uh, let the thing drive the drill bit. should be right through the center. It's not, but I don't give a crap. <laughs> it's close enough. Uh, I always uh, put a piece of filament through the extruder and through the uh, PTFE rod before I tighten it down and that ensures that the hole is centered uh, and it pretty much stays there. I don't have a whole lot of problem with that moving around. If you feel a little nervous about it, uh, you can always open up this end of the uh, PTFE slightly because having that end slightly open is not going to affect the operation of the hot end uh, too much but uh, 
So that's how we do that. Um, the last thing that I do to make it easier to stick this thing into a into a coupling like this is that I slightly taper the the last uh, 10 millimeters or so here um, just to make it easier for it to grab the threads um, because otherwise the rod's just a little bit too snug there and causes the hole to collapse slightly and then I gotta drill it out again so we're just gonna ever so slightly take off a little bit of material to cause a taper there give us, give us our start That's really all that it takes. Once you have that done, you can just uh, take your bushing, clamp it in a vise, screw this guy in until it hits bottom, and the hole should be lined right up with the MIG welder tip. And that's how I do it. Thanks for watching.